Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my July TBR. I did my June wrap up earlier so go check that out if you haven't already. And I have a quite a ton of books to, that I plan on reading this month. Um, most of them I have physical copies of. I only have four books that I do not have physical copies of. But I will be talking about those in just a second. So let's just jump right into all the books that I plan on reading in the month of July. So the first book I am going to be reading in the month of July is one I've heard a lot about on the in the booktube community. It, a lot of people seem to like it, and I thought it's about time I give it a try. And that book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this book. I haven't. I've only heard a couple of bad reviews about it. And this is, book is very big. That's why I haven't read it yet. But I am really looking forward to reading it. I picked this up at Barnes and Noble. Um, and I was surprised at the price because this book is very big. It's I only got it for $10, so I was really surprised it was that cheap. But again, I heard a lot of good reviews about it. I don't read a whole lot of historical fiction, but since everybody's telling me it's really good, I think I should just jump right in and see if I have the same feelings as a lot of other people do. So that's that. The next book I plan on reading is a reread. Um, next couple of books also are rereads. Um, and this is one of my favorite books of all time, and it's also part of one of my favorite series of all time. It's only my second favorite to another series I will mention in this video after this, and that is Divergent by Veronica Roth. I love Divergent. It's been one of my favorite books for a very, very long time. I actually did see the movies first. Yes, I know. Um, I did see the Divergent movie, and after seeing the Divergent movie, I immediately wanted to read the books. But again, these are pretty big books, but... I didn't read Di the whole Divergent book until around the time Allegiant came out, the third movie. I'm like, I need to read the books finally and see if they're as good as the movie. And let me tell you, the art is better than the movie. Um, I do love the movies, though. I do really, really love the movies. Um, but I will be rereading this because why not? Um, and, yeah. So the next seven books are part of the same series. And the first book is the Furu's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July. And this month we are rereading one of the biggest um, book series that I've ever read. It's one of my, it's also my favorite book series while heading in preparation for the new book that will be released at the end of this month on July 31st. And that book series is, if you haven't guessed already, Harry Potter! Yay! This is my favorite book series of all time. I didn't read it until I was 13 years old. But, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I am so glad I did, because it is amazing. So, the Sorcerer's Stone is actually our, first, our book club book of the month. And I'm already rereading it for, like, the fifth time, because I have to, but I'm going to be rereading that. And then, of course, I'm going to read the rest of the series. So we have The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, <laughs> The Order of the Phoenix, my personal favorite out of the series, the Half-Blood Prince, and of course, last but not least, The Deathly Hallows. So I am very excited to reread this entire series. It is very, very big, but I know I'm going to love it as much as I did the first four times I reread this entire series. I actually did never, I never did finish The Deathly Hallows because, again, it's gigantic. Um, I am mostly rented it from the library. I just literally picked up my physical copy of it yesterday from a used bookstore. And, oh my gosh, this is this book series, let me tell you. I will have reviews coming out for all these books. Again, like, probably, I'll probably finish The Sorcerer's Stone tonight because it's so short and easy to read. Um, but I will have reviews on my blog and on my channel when I am all done with every single one of these books mentioned in this video. So be on the lookout for those. Um, the next three books are also part of the same series, and that is actually a book series I actually did start last month, but I, again, I had to return them to the library, um, along with all the Percy Jackson books, which I mentioned in my uh, June uh, wrap-up, which I just put out today, um, and that book series is the Infernal Devices Trilogy by Cassandra Clare. This is another series I've heard a lot of great things about. Everybody seems to love it. I know a lot of people love the Mortal Instruments series as well, and I really want to jump on this boat because I heard so many good things about it. I really want to see the TV show because it looks fantastic. Um, Lady Midnight, the um, next series, uh, just came out, I think, in March, and that was another one of our book club book of the month. 
Um, and I was like, I need to read this. So I did start Clockwork Angel. I got about 40, 45 pages in and I loved it before I had to return to the library. I loved it. I was really getting into it. I mean, I'm really excited to read the rest of the book and continue on with the series and move on to the Mortal Instruments so I can put my thoughts out on YouTube and on my blog, finally. So I will be hopefully reading those um, when I have the chance. In the last book I will be reading this month, it's actually another book that I don't have a physical copy of that's because it's not a published a physical published book yet, and that is um, actually an ebook, and that is Zenith, the Andromeda Saga, part one by Sasha, Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Sasha is the creator of the wonderful booktube channel, which is Booktopia. I'll have her link in the description box below because she is amazing. She is my favorite booktuber. She's the one who got me really interested in you know reading more and then starting my book blog and my booktube channel. I love her and Lindsay Cummings. Um, I haven't read any of her books, but I heard she's a really, really great author. So I'm really excited to read that book. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it, but I really do want to see how it came out because I've been excited ever since Sasha announced this just a few months ago on her channel. So I will be reading that. I'll probably be reading that after I'm done with Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you give it liked it, if you just give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you haven't seen my June, June TBR, I did announce that I am currently writing a book, and I, again, I want to mention this. Um, I will be putting out a monthly update on the book as I start my process of writing it. So I will have monthly updates probably towards the end of the month. So be on the lookout for those. Also, be um, on the lookout for any other reviews I mentioned in any of my videos, and I will have those out very, very soon. So if you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!